Hello everybody, welcome to Life Lessons. Life Lessons is where we learn success principles from the Bible. Dear friends, I want to bring to you this thought of the importance of stillness. This is a spiritual principle. This is the principle of stillness. The opposite of stillness is movement. Now dear friends, if you look at anything in this world, everything is moving. There is no point on earth, on the physical universe where something is not moving or something that is not in vibration, something that is not moving, right? Look at the world, everything around you, everything around you is in constant movement. Go to the road, you constantly see a busy street. There's constantly movement happening throughout the world. Look at the physical universe. Take, take anything to the atomic level, to the smallest atomic level, everything is in movement. Or think about getting into outer space. Go into your outer space, everything is in movement. And there is nothing there in the physical universe which does not have in some kind of a movement. You know, even something which is dead is still continuing to decay. You get that? But what the Bible says is God has put stillness in, a, in one place and that is the spirit of a man. Right? When God created us human beings, He created us as a tripartite being. That is, we have three parts to us. And that is, we, have, we are a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in a body. We have three parts, right? So, deep in our spirit is where there is stillness. And the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. And you know what, dear friends? The soul, the soul part of us is the thinking the feeling and the doing aspect so any thinking that we do any feeling that is any emotion everything is in constant movement even in our thinking about business or our jobs our careers or our, about our families all these cares all of this is in the soul the thinking feeling and doing all these three parts are of the soul but God says if you want to have an intimate relationship with him we have to be still we have to be still and that stillness is in the spirit deep inside of us right this is the bible verse that i want to think about today ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 it says he has made everything beautiful in its time he has also set eternity in the human heart now look at this god god says god has made everything beautiful in his time and god has set eternity in the human heart think of this dear friends the biggest difference between time and eternity is time is changing there is a past present and future but eternity is a state there is no there's no changing right and God is calling us to that stillness so when we sit in worship to God we are actually coming to the presence of God presence in eternity we are joining God where of where he is he, God is not a God who is bound in time. Since God is the creator, he is separate from time, right? So we are, when we worship God in the stillness, when we recognize who God is in our lives, when we are quiet in his presence, when we study the word of God, when we look at the, the Bible, when we read the word of God in his presence, what happens is we, we are taking part in eternity. That is, we are becoming one with God. We are becoming one with Jesus Christ, right? So dear friends, so this is the thought. Let's take an action. Let's take for, take for a minute or about five minutes, wherever you are, just take a minute to be still in the presence of God. Think that eternity is where God lives and time is where we live. But God has set eternity in our hearts. And when we are quiet when we are in our stillness we can join God in the place there where he is that is we participate in him we participate in his life we participate in love with him right so dear friends so think on this thought this is the success principle for your life for today